Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to Centurion's Review, the punk rock band of war game review institutions. This is the Gallant Few from Leonard Kroll. He's a friend of mine. Uh, this is a simplified version of Jet Ace, uh, which is about air combat during the Battle of Britain. I, I believe less than 30 of these were manufactured. I know he sold 24 at Gen Con, I think in the 1980s, so he had a few left, so you're probably not going to see this anywhere else, but this is kind of a homemade folio game. Let's take a look through it. Type of game where you had to cut out the counters, so here's all the aircraft. I guess this probably is to show if the sun's out or where it is. Just silhouettes and stuff. And it's got some statistics for some of the aircraft here. Jet Ace is a pretty complicated game. I, assume, I haven't tried this yet. I assume this is too. I think this is actually supposed to be a little uh, less complicated. And it only deals with the Battle of Britain. Whereas Jet Ace uh, deals with uh, every kind of jet combat from uh, basically the Korean War to modern era. So let's take a look through here. Here's the rules. They're in the middle of the folder. Alright, it's got an introduction, and then it's warning you not to freak out that it's a big rule book. And here's scale, velocity is equal to 25 miles per hour, 1 inch equals 183.33 feet. Each altitude level equals 91.66 feet. It's going over die rolls. And talking about the components like the data charts and the counters. All right, here's the turn phase or the sequence of play. There's a search phase which uses radar or visual. And then the missile phase. Oh, that's used in Jet Ace only, so that's not used in this game. And then there's gunnery strafing phase, bombing phase, initiative phase, which determines order of movement. And then the movement phase which, uh, let's see here, goes ground targets first, then stalled planes while missiles going in jet ace, and then disadvantaged, normal, and advantaged. And movement, there's power acceleration and deceleration, momentum, nose altitude change or altitude change, horizontal movement, speed loss, and stall spinning segment. I played jet ace, and though it was a complex game, it really feels like you're flying a real aircraft, which is something that a lot of the these type of games don't do. A lot of them, you know, I, you know, you just feel like you're playing a game. Jet Ace actually felt like you were actually flying a real plane. All right, going over movement. There's air brakes, nose altitude segment, climbing, and ceiling and diving, and then level descent. All right, rolling to change wind, uh, wing angles, heading changes, and speed loss for heading changes and spins and stalls, turning in the vertical, throttle fade, gunnery combat, and it's going over effects of damage, like damage to engine, fuel, crew, whatever, and crew survival if you're, you happen to be shot down. Let's get some pictures here. So how many rule, pages of rules was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So twelve pages of rules so far. All right, maneuvers, page thirteen. So you have like, one thing I like is this has like real maneuvers, lateral rudder rolls, side slips, half rolls, immelmans, split S's, skidding turns, jinking, stall turns, all sorts of stuff. So this is really cool. Pilot tests, search, visual search, radar search, flex guns, and then it's going over effects of the sun, visibility, pilot skill levels, fuel limits. All right, and then it's got the 10 rules of air combat by Adolf Sailor Milan of the 74th Squadron, Royal Air Force. Then going over bomber formations, German fighter formations, British fighter formations, 
pilot abilities, high G turns. It's even contrails are even included in this. Interesting, going over effects of clouds and visibility and so forth. So if you are looking for a really detailed air combat games, this is it. And here's the designer notes. It's got a bibliography in the back, what he used as uh, references. And some options for campaigning. Alright, and this is... Uh, this is flight school, so this is to teach you how to play. Air duels, tally ho. Interesting. Yeah, no one could tell you this isn't detailed enough. This is definitely a detailed game. Order of Battle. And here's the charts and tables. Heading change chart, spin table, direction after spin, initiative modifiers, visual search, maximum search range, and then some other modifiers. I think these are from being like an experienced pilot or an ace. And then here's a climbing and diving charts, climb restrictions, gunnery, damage table, visibility, fighter interception tables, interception, arc of attack, interception to altitude, distance bomber, modifiers, bomber direction, sun direction, crew survival, and a G table. And it's going over the sequence of play again. And here's for hexless heading change. Maybe that's if you're not playing. I don't know if that's if you're not playing with a hex map or what's going on. And here's some tables for clouds and contrails. Weather table. Controls damage table. Unusual damage. Interesting. Navigation instruments destroyed. Bomb racks hits. All sorts of stuff. Wow. <laughs> Right here's an example of play. Looks like he's got two of them in here, one for each player. I'm gonna get showing how, out how to fill, showing how to fill out the sheet. Another example of play. And now it's showing the. I'm not sure what this is for. This is showing different formations. I guess they would use. Fighter Command Target Chart, Raid Chart, Airfield Damage Chart. So it looks like this is hexless. Uh, Jet Ace used hexes. It looks like this one doesn't. That's interesting. Left half roll. I'm showing how to do a lateral rotor roll and left side slip. And here's the uh, sheets where you, you fill out what your uh, aircraft is doing. You Obviously, you would photocopy these before use because you're going to use them in every game. But, yeah, definitely a very detailed air combat game. Just wanted to show you guys this because as far as I know, there's 30 or less of these manufactured. Anyhow, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And if you liked the video, please click like on it. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel. And as always, have a good evening.